is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we're going to be talking about what happened last night on smackdown live you guys know that on monday night raw and smackdown live this week i don't know what the hell wwe was doing i guess it is the road to wrestlemania and they're trying to hype up the shows just a little bit more giving us a little bit something extra on the road to wrestlemania and by god did we start it off here guys and i was totally shocked by this i did not expect this at all and uh, so, so we start off the night, right? Uh, Kofi Kingston makes his way down to the ring. We're going to have a contract signing for WWE Fastlane. Yes, Fastlane coming a couple weeks away, I do believe. And supposedly we're going to be getting New Day's Kofi Kingston taking on Daniel Bryan for the WWE Championship, of course. Coming out of their effort at the Elimination Chamber, you know, Kofi was the last one standing in that chamber with Daniel Bryan. And the, the crowd totally wanted Kofi to win. And they were so over with it, man, that, that you know, they got to the edge of our seat waiting for Kofi Kingston to get that pinfall and become the WWE Champion. It did not happen. Daniel Bryan did retain, and thus, you know, all the hashtags and the tweeting and the messaging and the, and the Facebooking and the effing social media outpour for Kofi. Kofi Mania is what is just hashtagged everywhere now. And everybody wants Kofi Kingston versus Daniel Bryan, right? So that's what we're on the road to here. And uh, Kofi Kingston is about to sign his contract, sign the dotted line to make the match official at Fastlane between him and Daniel Bryan. And then all of a sudden, Vincent Kennedy McMahon's music hits. He comes out on the stage and, you know, he, he's yeah, at first he's just like, you know what, Kofi, I just wanted to thank you for your 11 years of work, all your accomplishments, your, you know, all the stuff you've done for me and the company, and you're just amazing. But, however, there's a but and a however. He comes in there and he says, but uh, I'm replacing you in this Fastlane WWE Championship match. You are not the man for the job. I have somebody that's more deserving. I have somebody who is ready, and that man is Kevin Owens. What in the hell, Brad? Who saw this shit coming? My boy Kevin Owens comes out to the ring. He's got, he, he, he looks like a million bucks. He's got the nice beard. He's rocking the Fight Anyone shirt. This is actually accurate. I, I am going to update this, by the way. We're going to do some action figure surgery to make it accurate to what he actually looks like. But Kevin Owens comes out, guys. He's got his new half-sleeve tattoos. He's looking fantastic. Um, I'm so freaking excited, guys. If anybody knows exactly how I feel, who my favorite guys are, my true fans, my true subscribers know who I love, and Kevin Owens is one of those. He's one of my all-time favorites. I, I think he's just so fantastic, guys. I'll do a little short little, just give it to you right here. Kevin Owens is a top five performer in the world. I think that he is that good. I think he's that good on the on the mic in the ring his his ability his his just his character everything about him is fantastic and so when Vincent Kennedy McMahon Mr. McMahon came out and said these words I totally agree with him I was like you know what Kevin Owens does deserve that shot you know what I'm saying I freaking love Kevin Owens and I'm I'm behind him 100% here but anyways that's what happens Kevin Owens comes down to the ring sits in the chair that Kofi was sitting in, was sitting in signs the contract and it's official Kevin Owens is replacing Kofi Kingston at WWE Fastlane for the WWE title versus Daniel Bryan. I think this is pretty smart on WWE's part. I don't know what the cards have for Kevin Owens. Is he going to be the WWE Champion? That is a question that's going to be on a lot of people's minds. Is he going to win the title from Daniel Bryan? Or are we going to have a triple threat match between the three at Mania? Or are we going to have, you know, just Kevin Owens lose and then get into a mini program going into Mania? I don't know. I Honestly, I think a triple threat would probably be the best with, you know, Kofi Kingston winning the a triple threat at WrestleMania, you know, giving everybody what they want. I know that I don't think that I think the bigger picture here is going to be Kofi Kingston. This is going to thrust Kofi Kingston into the main event here and winning at WrestleMania. I think that, you know, they're doing the same thing with Becky Lynch. They're throwing a loop for everybody. They're running a shoot right here. I think that Kofi Kingston is easily going to get back in that picture and it's going to be Kofi Kingston winning the WWE title at WrestleMania. I think that's what's going to happen here, but I'm super excited. I think that Kevin Owens versus Daniel Bryan is going to be fantastic. Obviously, they're trying to book Kevin Owens as a face, but I think it was brilliant how, you know, he works way better as a heel. We've never seen him as a baby face. He works totally better as a heel. He's just a natural heel. He's fantastic on the mic. He's just a beautiful soul, beautiful, beautiful specimen in the world of professional wrestling, and I think that this is a good way to get some heel heat on Kevin Owens while uh, still going up against the heel Daniel Bryan, but he's still a baby face because he just returned and everybody loves KO. I don't know. Pretty good stuff, though, and uh, I think this is going to be some good stuff. Can't wait for their match at Fastlane. Is, uh, you know, Kofi Mania is going to be running wild, guys. They're, they're going to, whoever wins this match will fight Kofi at Mania and possibly drop it. I don't know if Daniel Bryan's going to drop the title, though, and then I don't know if Kevin Owens is going to win the title. I don't know what they're going to do. I think Triple Threat makes the most sense because if Kevin Owens, let's, let's just say Kevin Owens just returned, right? 
He's going up against the WWE Champion Daniel Bryan in his first matchup, or his first one-on-one -on -one matchup, whatever the case. I know he wrestled on SmackDown Live. I'm just saying this is going to be his his first program is for the WWE Championship. He's never won the WWE title. And um, I don't know. He just returned, man. I want him to get some momentum. I want him to be great again. I want him to be awesome. I want him to be, you know, a, a beast. And I want him to win this thing. So I think it's kind of stupid that he's sort of, you know, I'm 100% I'm for, but at the end, if it's going to make him look weak or dumb, I don't want it to happen, if that makes any sense here. But uh, Kevin Owens is going to be battling Daniel Bryan at Fastlane for the WWE Championship. And New Day, I love New Day's reaction to Vince McMahon when, you know, he came out there and, you know, they were like, what? They were totally shocked. You know how Big E and Xavier are. They're over the top. And they were just reacting. They were like, what the hell are you? What, what is this bull crap? And they even tweeted and made it even more realistic. And it's just good stuff, guys. It's it's really good stuff. And I'm, I'm really bought into the storyline. And I'm excited to see what they come of it. But I'm so freaking happy that my man Kevin Owens is back. I, I am so freaking just super ecstatic about it. And uh, on this episode, not only did Kevin Owens return, guys, but Matt freaking Hardy and Jeff Hardy are back together. They defeated the bar on this night. They come out of nowhere. It was supposed to be, I thought it, originally it was going to be Johnny Gargano versus Cesaro, and then they changed it to DIY versus The Bar, and then they changed it to just randomly the freaking Hardy Boys returning. Finally, Matt Hardy been out for so long, it was rumored that he was going to retire, and, you know, he came out on social media months back and was like, I'm not retired. I don't know what the hell y'all are talking about. I'm in the best shape of my effing life, and there he was, man. He's got abs now. He's looking great. He's in great shape. He looked good in the ring. He looked great in the black wrist tape and the black pants. And I was feeling it, man. I, I thought the Hardys looked great, and I think this is excellent for the tag team division. Not only do you get give Jeff something to do, but you give Matt Hardy, a returning Matt Hardy, something to do. And you also add to your WWE Tag Team Championship division on SmackDown Live. So I think this is an excellent move for both of them to get back together here, go on a nice run. Maybe we'll have like a ladder match or something at WrestleMania, and we'll, we'll get some good stuff there, some good feuds, and maybe they'll get the SmackDown Live tag titles, and then... You know, they'll be uh, Raw and SmackDown Live Tag Champions in their careers, and I think that would be beautiful. But what a what an epic night. I mean, we, not only did we have this, you know, we had uh, AJ Styles and Randy Orton teasing a feud. We had Aunt Andrade seeing Almas and Rey Mysterio mixing up with R-Truth and the Triple Threat. I can guarantee you guys, you can see WrestleMania shaping up. I think that, you know, a couple, like literally three days ago, we were like, what the hell's going to happen to WrestleMania? But the card is slowly working itself out, man. You take a look, we got Randy Orton versus AJ Styles. Styles is going to be on the WrestleMania card. Uh, whatever happens between these three is going to be on the Mania card. You got Seth Rollins and Lesnar. You got the triple threat, Ronda, Becky, and Charlotte. You got whatever happens in the tag team divisions on both Raw and SmackDown. You also have the women's tag titles. They're going to be shaping up. We got Andrade, Rey Mysterio match that I think should happen. It should most definitely probably even open the show. You got Finn Balor with the IC title that could possibly open it up with a barn burner and debuting the Demon at Mania. I think WrestleMania is going to shape up nicely, guys. I I know that we don't have too much info on it just yet, and no matches, not a lot of matches are confirmed, but the way it's shaping itself out on WWE television right now, I think it's going to be beautiful, man. I, I, I am looking forward to some good-ish, and it's looking like we're going to get some good-ish, and I'm, I'm freaking happy for it. I'm excited for it. And I did not expect Matt Hardy or Kevin Owens' return on this night. I loved how it was a surprise, man. It was a freaking... Did you hear the pop for Kevin Owens and Matt Hardy and the Hardy Boys returning right here? Like, it, it was great. You know, we didn't need a tweet. Kevin Owens will be replacing Kofi Kingston, and then that's just what you get on SmackDown Live. They actually let it happen naturally. They had Vince interrupt the pin before it touched the paper. You had some good elements here, and Daniel Bryan's doing fantastic as champion right now. I don't know. It, I don't know what it was about Raw and SmackDown, but both of them had a breath of fresh air. Another thing we saw was the uh, we saw Rusev and Nakamura t tag teaming again, which is kind of weird. But we saw them take on Aleister Black and Ricochet. They look like a hundred bucks again. They they keep winning. They keep get, building momentum and stuff. I don't know what they're going to do for Mania for Aleister Black, Ricochet, DIY. I know I know for a fact Ricochet and Aleister Black are main they're on the main roster now. It's it's official. Um, uh, Aleister Black came out on an NXT live event and he thanked the crowd, he thanked NXT, he thanked everybody. I think Aleister Black is pretty much all but done with NXT. He is officially main roster. I'm sure the same thing is going to be for Ricochet. I think they're still putting their NXT name tags on there. But uh, at the end of the day, I think that they're both main roster bound now. And it's exciting stuff. I think that uh, when we get into Mania, guys, this, this has the makings to be a great Mania. And uh, hopefully we don't get any bullcrap like last year with, with Nicholas 
and we don't get any uh, Nia Jax in a championship match. I don't know, man. Uh, I'm, I'm ready for Fastlane. I'm ready to see what happens with Kevin Owens and the Hardys and everybody. It's going to be good stuff, but I'm so, again, I'm so happy for Kevin Owens and Matt Hardy's return. I've been waiting on him patiently, especially Kevin Owens. I was awaiting Matt Hardy. I thought he was going to be in the Rumble. He wasn't. We're still waiting on Bray Wyatt. We're still waiting on Sami Zayn, and uh, it's going to be really good stuff, guys. I'm, I'm really excited for Mania and, and the build and the road to WrestleMania, but that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. We covered Monday Night Raw, so we had to cover SmackDown Live with this epicness. We got Roman Reigns and Batista on Raw. We got Kevin Owens and Matt Hardy on SmackDown. What good stuff, guys. Thank you for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts on everything I've stated here today down in the comments section below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.